Hi, Liz Ness here. Recently, I was asked, how do you remove a background? And actually, the, the answer is that there are quite a few different ways to do that. And not too long ago, I did a video on how to remove a background. I'll leave a link in the description below. But basically, uh, it, it, it involved masking, um, but using sort of a hands-on approach where I painted out um, the background to reveal uh, a layer underneath that was all black. And so that is a great method for removing backgrounds. But I'm going to show you a different one today. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. Today we're going to be working on an image that's a little bit different. The background that I want to change is this piece right here. But the thing is it's very consistent in its color. So using the tools that come with Procreate, the selection tool in, in particular, it, it's an easier way to just go about and a very fast way to go about uh, selecting that background so that you can modify it. So let's go ahead and get started. The background that I'm going to insert over the top of this is going to be from a different beach on a different day and you can see a very dramatic sky so that's I'm going to combine these two images so let's get to it I'm going to go ahead and select layer one there and then I'm going to go ahead and make this just a tad bit bigger because I'm going to want to get into some details and then I'm going to select this little sort of looks like a ribbon and an S for selection tools and I have automatic selected and I also have add enabled um, because I'm going to be adding selections to the initial selection. So when I put my pencil down, I'm going to hold it because I'm going to be able to drag the threshold, so how much I want to apply this uh, selection uh, with the pencil itself, as well as telling it where I want to have the selection. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle so I have a lot of leeway for the threshold. So we're going to tap and then bring that up. Okay, and that is looking pretty good here. Okay, I kind of want to get in there so it's not too white on the edges right here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now I've picked up my pencil and I'm going to tap right in here. Okay, that's a little too much. So I'm going to draw the threshold down a bit. There we go. So we've got that edge. Now I'm going to be in my glasses here. Oops, let's see. I don't know if I have the right spot here. There we go. Okay, and then down here in the crook of that umbrella handle so right there okay so that's pretty good so with it with this still the way it is with selection still open I'm going to go over to my layers and I'm going to tap that upper layer and then tap it again and I'm going to select mask okay and then I'm going to deselect the selection tools so now I just need to make visible that upper layer and you can see it puts in that uh, background sky for me and it's really as simple as that. Now, you might want to start finessing it with some softer brushes along the edge here. But there's another thing we could do. We could actually just multiply this, and then it would go over the top. Uh, just that section would go over the top and multiply with what's underneath it. And sometimes that'll look a little bit more realistic. I actually kind of like um, the normal the way it is just like that. You can also dial down the opacity if you want to give it a softer look so that again it's sort of revealing what's underneath a little bit more realistically and actually that looks pretty good. Um, but anyway that is how you go about actually not really removing the background but substituting a background for the one you used to have um, by using selection tools. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.